Welcome to part two of the Silver Showcase. Silver is a web app that uses a Chrome extension to help you find eligible retail purchases from your FSA and HSA accounts. Built in Flutterflow with Superbase custom code and native elements, in this video, you'll see Dan Somrak, a product leader for over 12 years, dive into his Flutterflow project. So one of the functionality that we wanted to use in Superbase was their real-time aspect, which is if we're uploading a receipt to Superbase, we want that sh uh, to show up in the app as quickly as possible. So we're actually subscribing to the Superbase channel in this custom action. And this custom action is running as soon as you load one of those pages. And then anytime this uh, a change happens on the database side, we are then requerying the data source. You can see that the action here is super real time is getting called anytime there's an update to receipts. And then we use this, um, the reload action we're passing in to clear the query cache and then refresh the database request to get those unclaimed receipt items so we can show it to the user. Uh, we can scan receipts on this page and then I showed the review items page right here. And then when we click next, that takes us to the sign claims page. This is a, uh, a signature widget, but we did have to modify it a bit to uh, work with Superbase. We found it really easy to lay out the UI and iterate very quickly in, um, in Flutterflow. But the more we worked on it, the more we'd find an area where we might need to reach for custom code that was very, very specific to our use case, or we wanted to try uh, new things that weren't supported in Flutterflow yet. So one thing that we really relied on was the GitHub integration. And so we push, push everything into our GitHub repository. And inside GitHub, we have modified the code for the signature widget, as well as added in uh, Sentry so we can track all the errors that are happening from the app. And then we use GitHub Actions to push the Flutter flow, uh, like the resulting Flutter flow build into um, Google Firebase uh, hosting. Another thing that I found really fast to work on inside Flutter flow is because everything is low code, um, something that I might have reached for another tool to do in the past, I just implemented in Flutter flow. So for example, on multiple different pages, we uh, we allow the user to uh, send feedback. Um, in the past, I've used different tools to kind of add in like a feedback overlay or, or allow people to submit it. But because it's so easy to use Flutterflow, we just created all the modals here. We're tracking uh, any sort of feedback and free text here. Uh, we also created a way to request providers for your FSA or HSA that we don't support, as well as um, vote for um, the vendors. One thing I also wanted to share was you can see that there's um, our choose provider page. We show a list of providers, but it's it's not just the providers we support, but also providers that have been requested. And if anyone clicks on a link that we don't support, we take them to a provider waitlist confirmation. We say, sorry, we don't support uh, maybe Navia or Wex benefits or something yet. And we're storing that in our database to come back to later. Like I mentioned before, if you're trying to build something and you don't know what's important to build, don't spend any money on it. Don't spend the engineering time. We want to spend time and effort building what people actually are going to use. And we've been able to very quickly create these almost, um, you know, painted door tests within the app by showing different things like uh, providers we don't support yet, or we show vendors that aren't there yet. And the way that we do that is we've got a container to vote for vendors. So we'll show anything that's requested, we show a list of vendors uh, within the app. And you can see we've got a place where you can uh, thumb up or thumb down if you are going, to, if you would use it or not. So the example there would be CVS or, or other retailers. Now, when it's time to add a retailer, um, I'm actually going to, all right, so I'm coming here. You can see that, um, Currently, we support Walgreens, Amazon. This is in our staging instance, Costco. Um, we have uh, Walmart and Target. Anytime I add rows into this table, they'll show up within our app for people to vote on them. And then we can just take a look at this uh, user votes for vendor status. And it'll tell us how many, like who's been voting for which vendor. Now, when someone requests a new vendor, 
we'll add it to our database. People will vote on it over time. And then what we do is we build that in our Chrome extension. And when the Chrome extension supports it, we can then just turn this from false to true. People can start using it right away. What goes into the Chrome extension uh, code is where uh, it will navigate into the orders page. If you're not logged in, it's going to ask you to log in. So we're you know, supporting all those sort of things. And then it finds the um, specific order, the specific invoice, and it sends it up to the service. We're using um, Superbase Edge functions to handle all those sort of things. So we have a collect Amazon Edge function as an example. This is what's parsing out what the receipts are, what the receipt items are. And then we also have a, a process to figure out what's el eligible or not so that when it comes down to the, the app, the app can just show um, show based off different views or different uh, uh, database tables. Like I mentioned in the beginning, the reason why we're using Flutterflow is because you can test something very, very quickly. You can iterate very fast. And at the very beginning of starting a project that might turn into a product or a product that could become a company, uh, you don't want to waste your time building something that isn't useful. So at the very beginning, it's actually good to take on technical debt. It's just fine to, to build a bunch of code that you're expecting to rebuild later or to throw out or refactor at some point in the future. And so as much as possible, I would say leverage uh, how quickly you can build stuff in Flutterflow. Throw it, like, throw it out there, see if people use it. If they don't use it, just remove it or have different places for them to vote or show interest. Um, in the, uh, as an example, for those providers, you don't necessarily know that you're voting for something. You're just saying, I have this provider. And then we say, great, we've added you to the wait list. So you're really trying to capture their intent. And then based off their intent, you can then prioritize and, and do things, quote, you know, for real or actually build out what's necessary. Before we go, yeah. can you tell everyone where they can find you, where they can find Silver, if they want to learn more? If you go to withsilver.app, you can try out Silver yourself. You can see how much money we're able to find you. Uh, if we find receipts, if we find eligible expenses, then uh, only then you, you have to pay and, and we'd be happy to submit them to your providers and, and help you get your money back from your FSA accounts.